to the Hooked on Needles podcast. This is a haul video from my time in YarnCon 2017 in Chicago. What? Um, today I decided to finally make a haul video because I am dying to work with these yarns and um, I did not want to skein them up without showing them to you guys. So I was lucky enough to go up to Chicago at the, at the beginning of April. My husband is working up there for a little while and so um, the kids were on spring break and jokingly I told him Oh, you know, if I go visit you, there's this yarn con thing going on that I think I would like to go. And he's like, oh, yeah, haha, ha, you're going to come visit me to go to a yarn thing. And um, I was like, yeah, I am. But I honestly was joking. I did not really think I was going to go. And I wasn't expecting him to be enthusiastic about it at all and um but I had already decided that I did want to go visit him um him and I don't spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time because he travels and I feel very selfish taking time away from my children to be with him um so for me my kids having time with dad is always better than me having time with dad. So my sister had talked to me about going to Florida with the kids for spring break. And I had said, yes, of course we can do that. And she's like, but you know, I could just take them. You don't have to come with me if you want to go visit your husband. And I was like, oh, okay, um, I guess that's an option. I could do that. So I did. Um, the kids went down to Florida to have some fun. And I went up to Chicago to see my husband. And we got to spend, um, I think it was like five or six days together of no worrying about the kids. Nothing really besides ourselves, which was really nice. He had been asking for some alone time for a while. Um, but I just, like I said, I always feel very selfish um, having that time with him, which I know I shouldn't because our marriage also needs that. But I feel, um, you know, that one-on-one -on -one time. But with him traveling, I feel like, um, you know, once the kids grow up and leave, we're going to have plenty of time to be with each other. So I'm not always very um, like, you know, yeah, let's just you and me do something. Um, so anyways, I was able to do that, which was really nice. So I drove up on Saturday, April 1st, and YarnCon was April 1st and April 2nd. Um, and what really blew me away was that the Friday before I left, I get a call from my husband around lunchtime and he was like, do you know that they're also giving classes? And I was like, classes for what? And he's like, at the yarn con, they're going to be doing classes. And did you see the vendors? Which means he looked up yarn con and was looking at everything. And that just really um, made me feel really good because he has no interest in yarn and he took the time to do that. So he just, you know, is always blowing me away with the way he is with me and encouraging and whatever. So anyway, so... I was like, yeah, I know that they have classes and I have seen some of the vendors. I don't know any of the vendors because they're all from up north, really. I don't. Um, and I hadn't really bought any luxury yarns up until I started doing this podcast. And 
all this yarn I had gotten from the um, shop that went out of um, business. So I, um, I shouldn't say out of business, it shut down. So I was, you know, like I said, I was like, I, I was, I was just kidding about the yarn con thing. I was just saying it because I thought it was funny, you know, that I'm going to go visit you, but really I'm going for yarn because I was just being goofy. And he's like, no, but we could go. So if you do come up, we could go. And I was like, okay. So I drove up Saturday and Sunday morning, he was like, okay, let's go. You know that the first couple people are going to get goodie bags or whatever. Wouldn't you want to be one of them? And he was all pumped and everything. And I was like, okay, well, we could do that. But it was really early and I was still tired from the drive. So I was like, you know what? Honestly, I kind of just want to hang out for a little while and rest some more. And then maybe we can go. But I, it's not like I have to go. And he's like, okay. So we ended up driving into Chicago because he was staying a little bit further out um, from the city. And so we drove in around lunchtime. We stopped at a place called Park Tavern, which was delicious, you guys. If you are in the Chicago area, look it up. It's really, really good. Um, so anyways, we stopped there for lunch. And then after lunch, we went over to YarnCon. And I had a budget in mind because I knew that they are, you know, yarn is more expensive there than the acrylic that I usually use. Um, so I, what, I didn't want to go crazy. Um, but I feel like I did because again, my husband was very encouraging and he kept saying, well, you know, when are you going to come to yarn con again? You might as well just get something now. And, um, I did so with his encouragement. <laughs> um, but I was really looking forward to this one. I really like this natural color. It is backyard fibers. 100% U.S. wool, grown, milled, and dyed in the U.S. by family-owned businesses. Um, and this is just a natural yarn. It is 100% merino, 100 grams, 400 yards. And they had a sample knitted up with, using this one. And it was so pretty and... It's so squishy, and I was thinking I wanted to pair it with color. But then at the same time, I'm like, it's so precious. I don't want to add anything to it. I just want to knit it up into, like, a lace shawl or something. Just because it's so pretty, and it is squishy. And here is their card. I hope you can read it. Um... And so, yeah, so I was really glad that I was able to get some. And they did have some dyed yarn, but I wanted just natural color. So I got that. And everybody at the Yarn Con were, they were so nice, so informative. Any questions you had, they would answer. And I really did enjoy it. I wish I could have bought something from everybody but sadly I couldn't. Um, if ever I do go back, um, I do hope to get some yarn from other shops that I wasn't able to purchase at the time. So we will see. Maybe I will, um, I will get husband to drive with me next year. <laughs> um, anyways, um, so yeah, so that was one. I guess I should put them up there after I'm done, but I'm getting them from up here. And then I got two from this lovely lady, uh, Daisy Knits, hand dyed yarns and fibers. And you can find her there. I hope you can see that. And this is a wicked cool. It is 55 BFL 45 silk. 875 yards. 
So look at that. It is so, so beautiful. I really love these colors. And I was trying so hard not to stick to the same colors. I wanted to get different variety. Um, so I, eh, kind of, but not really. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, so I got that one and it's also her. And this is Monkey Toes. It is 70% alpaca, 20% silk, and 10% cashmere, 875 yards. And I am coming to the conclusion that alpaca is my jam. I love all of the alpacas. They are so soft. And so, yeah, so look at that, like, bright neon color. It is awesome. I like saying bomb diggity, but... My nephews make fun of me because I seem dated is what they say. But guess what? I am because we only age up, not down people. Um, so anyways, I got two from her. And then as I was walking around, I saw this along with three other colors that all four make houses of Harry Potter. And I didn't even look at the price. I just grabbed it because I saw Hufflepuff. Um, on Pottermore, I am Hufflepuff. But every other, like all the other sites that I had tried told me I was Gryffindor. So I am confused about what I am. My daughter is Hufflepuff and I made her a hat for Christmas. And she totally loved it. And here is their card. I hope you can see it. And this is the Helga Hufflepuff. Harry Potter inspired. It is Cordale and Nylon. It is a fingering weight. 434 yards. And it is a superwash hand dyed male spun it says. And yeah, like I said, I did not even look at the price. I just grabbed it. And then right by the checkout, they had these. And uh, if we go by Pottermore, we have two Slytherins and two Hufflepuffs in our household. My daughter and I are Hufflepuff. My husband and my son are Slytherin. So I got those. Um, those two little buttons from them as well. And they are Bumblebee Acre Farms. I don't know if I said that or not. But yeah. Um, and again, all of them, all of the vendors were so, so lovely and kind and everything. So I, I really enjoyed it. I really liked going. And then these this is the hearthside fibers and this is 50 percent superwash merino 50 percent tensile fingering weight four ounces 412 yards and it says hand dyed in johnson creek wisconsin i am going to bend back this thing but yeah, I was trying to, oh, sorry. Oh, gosh, I am so sorry, guys, that the focus is like crap. But yeah. Um, and this is the Delf Delphinium colorway. And I was really trying not to stick to the same colors, but... I mean, we all like the colors for a reason. We know we each have our own color palettes that we really enjoy getting. So as much as I tried, I feel like I did stay on a certain path. <laughs> and then this one, um, I fell in love with as soon as I saw it. This is from Black Cat Fibers. And it says color outside the lines. 
I hope you can see them. And this is a four ply fingering, 75% superwash merino and 25 nylon, 463 yards. And the colorway is no name, no service. And look at those bright colors. It is so beautiful. And I was actually thinking of pairing this with the um, natural color from Backyard Fibers. But I feel like it's too much. It'll be too much for this, for the natural. So I'm going to end up doing something else. Um, but yeah. And then across from Black cat fibers were leading men fiber arts which i found out has a podcast um here is this card or their card it's dramatic knits video podcast host steve and callie and i did take a look at their podcast so you guys should too oh goodness gracious i don't know if i'm I'm getting any of this right. I apologize, like I said. Um, but this is their Drag Queen colorway, and I freaking love it. Oh, I love it so much, you guys. Um, it is 250 yards, superwash merino, DK weight. And I, I think I'm going to make a cowl out of it because I just I just love it I want it wear it around my neck all the time um so yeah leading men fiber arts yay I'm so sorry it's so not focusing anyways there you go um I got that and then lastly I got this which is from um the northern bee studios and this one actually came with a pattern when you um when you bought the yarn and she was knitting of a blanket and it's like super super stretchy it is tarji baby 100% Tarji wool, 700 yards, 120 grams. And this is the mermaid colorway. And it is gorgeous. It says, from the ranch and mill in Wyoming to our studio. It's a bouncy, delightful yarn to crochet, knit, or weave. Hand dyed in small batches in Juneau, Arkansas. Huh. Well, look at that. Anyways, it's so beautiful. I love it. And I can't wait to start knitting on these things, guys. Um, like I said, I really enjoyed Yarn Con. It is my favorite first or it was my first yarn festival that I have ever been to oh I forgot one the little patch alpacas okay this one oh, I don't know this one is also on my on top of my list it is alpaca super fine merino tensile ombre faded dyed 200 yards and it is a sport weight. And I love these colors, first of all. But it's alpaca, so it's like super, super squishy. Like the other ones are really nice, soft and squishy as well. But alpaca, you guys. Alpaca is like the bestest, the bomb, bombest, the whatever is. It is. I just love it. And I can't decide whether to make a hat or a cowl of this because I get very cold. So I was thinking um, 
that a cowl might be better to keep me warm during the winter months. But look at that bright color. It is so, so pr pretty. And the name of it, because I don't think I said it, is Arctic Fox Sport. These beautiful neon colors. And as you know, purple is my fave. So, yeah. Um, but uh, like I was saying, I really enjoyed my time at Yarn Con. Um, I really loved everybody's enthusiasm. I have alpaca in my mouth. Sorry. <laughs> um, and yeah, I, if I can go back, I would love to go back. I definitely, in my opinion, went overboard. I ended up, I think, with nine skeins of yarn. Six, seven, eight, yep, nine skeins of yarn. And, um, again, my husband was like, why not, Muddy? Why not? And I was like, you're right. Why not? <laughs> so, um, yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul video. Um, I don't see myself buying anymore for a while. Um, I live in the state of Georgia and they do have a Georgia Fiber Festival in September. I'm not sure if I will be able to make it. I was trying to talk my husband and daughter into going. Um, my son will go with me wherever just because we're bonded that way. <laughs> um, but it always takes a lot more convincing for my husband and daughter. Um, although now that he got to experience it with me and saw how I was geeking out, maybe he will be like, yeah, let's just go. And it's, it's a little bit of ways from where we are. Um, but I don't think they would mind the drive if we make it an outing. Um, so maybe that is something that I will be able to make it to. I hope so, but again, if I don't, you guys, it's totally fine. I am super set with these. I want to get rid of the stuff that I had already gotten before. And so I just, I, I feel like I have enough to at least last me a year. Um, so I'm not really too worried about it. I'm pretty sure I will make my way somewhere else and get some little something, you know, once in a while. But if not, I'm good. I have plenty of stuff to make with the yarn I have. I'm looking for a shawl for the Hufflepuff because I really want to make something for my daughter. She doesn't really like wearing my knitted things because she's like, I'm not even worth it. Like, I get so hot. Why do you want to waste your time on making me things? But she doesn't understand that because I love her, I don't mind spending time making her something. So... This is definitely one of the first things that I want to um, dive into and make something out of. And um, yeah, and actually my son was wearing this shawl. This is the Reina shawl. And he looked so dang cute in it. But I don't know if it's the shawl, if it's just the kid. <laughs> A little bias there. Um, but yeah, and... Um, I love this, by the way. Uh, this is one of my finished items. I haven't weaved in the ends. I have not blocked it. So, but anyways, um, yeah. Okay, sorry. Totally going off the rails there. Um, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this little haul video. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, hasta la próxima. I hope you are all doing well.